everybody! Welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix, and once again, I am joined with uh, my my co-host Minhao outside the dumpster of Walmart. <laughs> Hello. It's a bit chilly today. Yeah, it's very windy too. 30 degrees. 30 degrees. Yeah, 30 fucking degrees outside. No, it must have gone colder now. It's probably like 20. Yeah, it probably dropped by like 10 at least. Oh my god, it's 27. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so cold. Alright, well, we got this nice little, like, oil drum thing with some fire in it, so that'll keep us warm. Yeah. Yeah. And while this keeps us warm, we're gonna finally finish this whole Red Dex reader that we've been sitting on for so goddamn long. <laughs> finally. Yeah. Is this, uh, the third one, or the second one? The third, third one? and final one. Alright. We're gonna get through this book no matter what. <laughs> but even if it kills me. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think... what I don't even remember what happened and whatnot. It's been a while, so um, we're going to be uh, a little bit confused, so... <laughs> I think it was pizza time and the world was ending. Yeah, and like, we mega evolved a Pokemon in the Aloha region, and they were like, Oh shit, maybe we shouldn't have done that, and then he started being destructive as fuck. And then we're like, oh, yeah, yeah. whoopsie daisies. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. And they wake up on a wagon. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Alright, well. Chapter 14, the Pokemon League. Which I think we beat up the trials. So now we get to challenge the Pokemon League. Hmm. Which, oh shit, where did my... I had a coin! Actually had a, an actual coin. Wait, I have it. I found it. Heads or tails? Uh, tails. Tails, you read. Heads, I read. Where did it go? <laughs> tails, I read. Heads, Wait. you read. Wait, what was it? So tails, you read. Heads, you read. What? No, 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 no. You said tails. I yeah. can't remember. Tails you read, heads I read, right? Yeah, tails you read. Yeah, you and read. Head you read. Yeah, it's your turn to read now. <laughs> the tails? They landed on tails. So all these, I, gra I grabbed a penny and threw it, so it's a shield, but still, still a tail. All right. Okay, chapter fourteen, the Pokemon League. Uh, when you met up with Colrez, he seemed sad about something. Are you all right? You asked. Yeah, I'm all right. What is it? A male or female reader? I forgot which one. We're a female, of course. I we're, mean, we're I, so I can't even dork. tell. The name's 3DS. Yeah, we're we're so like <laughs> small and petite and have blonde hair, blue eyes. <laughs> just no <your> character. <laughs> no, you're just a physical DS. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. As we talk, it like flips up and down to like talk. <laughs> It's like that, uh, what was that Pokemon? The the Rolex? No, sorry, not the Rolex. Rolex Ro Ro <laughs> the Rolex Pokemon. The Ro Ro Rotom? something? Rotom. Rotom, yeah, it's electric, and it, like, goes into, like, technology and, like, powers it. Yeah, that one. Or, like, that one. <laughs> yeah, we're right, a Rotom yeah, that possesses a, a 3DS and is just now flirting with, with Colorado. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I'm alright, he answered. Anyway, you finished your trials, right? You nodded? Alright, then let's head over to Mount Lanakila. You began to shiver when you got close to the mountain. You must be freezing, Cloros said. Especially since you're not used to temperatures like this. Because you live in Alola. He let you wear his heated coat lab <gasps> so you wouldn't get cold. So romantic. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about you? You can't just go to the mountain without your coat. I'll be fine, he said, and put on a jacket. Uh, as you hiked to the top of the mountain, the coat you were wearing was practically dragging on the ground since Colred was so tall. Are you sure we can't just fly to the top, you asked? Colred shook his head. Your Salamence and my Altaria are both dragon flying types, so they have a double weakness to ice. They wouldn't last very long up here. Alright, you said, and climbed even higher. Fuck you for using Later. logic. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I never encountered this during the game. Mm -hmm. After an exhausting trip, you finally reached the peak of Mount Latakila. I'm gonna stay in the Pokemon Center for a while, Cora said. Are are you alright? 
Right, I'm just gonna say, are you all right? You're acting a lot differently lately. You know you could come watch me battle, right? You asked him? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just a little lightheaded, that's all. He headed to the Pokemon Center. Wait, he said just before he stepped inside. Don't you want your coat back? He, he shook his head. You can wear it for now. Dang, this is like a Gucci coat. Yeah. Beaded and everything. We can sell it on, like, Depop later. <laughs> <laughs> Probably has its own Wi-Fi router. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Yeah, hot spot. seal skin. Hotspot lab coat. Yeah. You stepped inside of the Pokemon League, wondering why Colrez was acting so strange. You were a bit nervous about the League, but you realized that you would be fine as long as you didn't worry. You went inside of an Amethyst... Am Amethystine? Is it Amethystine? Yeah, I guess. Amethystine room, and saw... Acarola... Stand Acarola... As Ace Rolla? Sure. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Is that Pokemon? No, it's a person. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I can't tell what these names. <laughs> and saw Akarola standing there. Welcome to the Pokemon League, she said, smiling. But you didn't expect to see me here. Let's have a battle now. Play, play the battle music. You <laughs> <laughs> said out, out oh, save the lie. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing reading my part, eh? My bad. I was excited oh, yeah. for Sableye. Alright, you can read the battle. You can read the battle. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> I have a Sableye on my Pokemon Emerald team. His name is Bracken. <laughs> I have a disabled eye. Oh. Did you say Sableye or, or a disabled eye? Yes. Oh, okay. Send out Sableye, and you sent out Salamance. It tried to use Shadow Claw, but Salamance flew into the air. You flew down and slammed into the Sableye. It used Confuse Ray in your Pokemon attack and used Hydro Pump. Why didn't you use a Fairy type Pokemon? This thing's only weak against Fairy. Okay, never mind. Acerola. Send out Griplin. <laughs> And you Acarola. To... Acarola, okay. And you switch no, to the right... Acerola. Yeah, whatever it is. Bring an ace. No, it's Acarola. <laughs> I'm gonna call her ace. <laughs> it's Ack. Yeah, it's Ack. Yeah, just Ack. Just A. <laughs> a. Yeah, and then it's just Ack. <laughs> You're right, you used Thunder, and it was a super effective move. It suddenly made her Pokemon faint. Dripplum's aftermath damaged Raichu, however. Next, she sent out... This Pokemon. <laughs> uh, Delamice? Okay. Right, you used Thief, <laughs> and Dalamance used Shadow Ball. Right, you fainted. Why would you send a Psychic? Is Psychic super effective against Ghosts? Um. Wait, is it? I'm getting confused now. Yeah, I'm getting confused. Is it too. that or Dark type? Yeah. No, Psychic can't touch ground. Sorry, Psychic can't touch Dark. Oh. Yeah, I know that one for sure. So All I know is Ghost good. can't touch Normal. Yeah. yeah. Psychic can't touch Dark. It does nothing. Or sorry, no, Normal can't touch Ghost. I'm getting mixed yeah. up. Yeah, well, vice versa. They can't touch each other. Ah. Yeah. He sent out Arcanine, and he used Flame Charge. It had Thelemans fainted and increased Arcanine's speed. Because that's what William Sharks does. Israel sent out Frost Slash, with Arcanine immediately defeated with Flare Blitz, taking damage because that's what Flare Blitz does. Israel has sent out her last Pokemon, Hollow Sand. You switch into Salamance, and his Hydro Pump easily defeated it. Wow, you're s that was incredible! Uh, Ace, Ace said. Good luck with your next three battles! You groaned. One battle was Hiring enough, but now you had to do three more. You owed your Pokemon and left the room. You entered another one where Olivia was sitting. You were about to say hello to her when she said, Let's just skip the talking. We should just get straight into battle. Speaking of which, my Pokemon are going to crush yours. You smiled and sent out the Sidui. Forgot what that one looks like. <laughs> That's the, uh, isn't that the evolved grass? Like, evolution? Uh, starter Pokemon? Ah, uh, you were right. 
How do you know more Pokemon than I do? <laughs> I just, I think I chose that as a starter before on one run. Okay, that makes sense. Hey, you look like a grass kind of guy. Okay. <laughs> I'm a fire guy. Oh, I chose then why did you Then why did you... <laughs> no, I did it on a different run. I think that was oh. like my second run, you know, just to see. Okay, gotcha. Olivia sent out Arm Ma Armado first. Sidui attack and use Spirit Shackle. Armaleo used Crushed Claw and it had no effect. He finished Armelo off with Brave Bird. Next, she sent out Crad Cradlily? Yes. Cradilly and Decidui used Shadow Ball. Cardilly used Rock Tomb on Decidui, and she attacked back with Leaf Blade, which was just enough to defeat Olivia's Pokemon. She sent out uh, Gigalith, but Decidui just defeated it with one hit KO. That's a lie, because that thing would have had Sturdy. I know for a fact that thing would have had Sturdy. What does that do? It means you can't get one hit KO'd. Oh, that one. Yeah. yeah, like a lot of ground types have it. Yeah, a lot of ground and or rock. Yeah, rock, ground, or steel are like main ones to have that thing. So it was a lie. Yeah, I can't believe she lied. I can't believe this this author did not like proofread before they submitted. <laughs> False fanfic. <laughs> yeah, womp womp. <laughs> Turns out Probo Pass, which used Thunder Wave. This is why I use Shadow Ball and Probo Pass use Power Gem. Your Pokemon tried to attack again, but she couldn't because she was paralyzed. Probo Pass used Power Gem again, and Decidueye used uh, Sinister Arrow Raid. Probo Pass fainted. Olivia sent out Lycan Rock, which fainted after Decidueye used Leaf Blade. Maybe I was the one who got crushed, Olivia said. He ran into the next room, which had a which had silver floating hectagon. Welcome to my chamber! Uh who the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, Molane. Molane said, Let's have a battle right now so we can test who's stronger. Alright, Park, i to you. I gotta read the battle now? Yeah, now you have to read it. I see it's like seven words that I can't pronounce here. Alright, here we go. You sound. He sent out Klefki, and you sound sent out Arcanine. He attacked first with Thunder Wave, which Arcanine couldn't move. Or when Arcanine couldn't move, Klefki used spikes. Arcanine used Flare Blitz before Klefli could use spikes again. Molain's Pokemon fainted. Molain switched to Bisharp, and Arcanine used Flame Charge. He got to attack again because of his increased speed. Bisharp fainted. Oh, he just killed him in one hit? Okay. Yeah, I mean, he's four, he's, he's weak against fire. Yeah. Molain sent out a Dug Trio, which used Earthquake. Arcanine couldn't attack because he was paralyzed. Dugtrio used Earthquake again, and Arcanine fainted. Womp womp. I wonder what an Earthquake move looks like in real life. Just, <laughs> you just create a mini Earthquake. Yeah, everyone in the surrounding, like, 100 mile radius is like, oh! <laughs> There's probably, like, banned Pokemon moves after, like, 9pm, so the neighbors can get sleep. Yeah. They're like, if I catch you use an Earthquake around these parts, or after 9, before bringing your <laughs> ass down to the station. <laughs> I'm just gonna use thunder and explosion. Yeah. You sent out the Sijui, who was immediately hurt by the spikes. She used Leaf Blade and made Dug Trio faint. Bowling returned his Pokemon to his to its ball and sent out his Me Metagross. Metagross? Me Metagross. Yeah, Metagross. The Sijui used Spirit Shackle. Metagross used Zen Headbutt, and the Sijui fainted. He sent out a Salamence, who immediately defeated Metagross with Flamethrower. He sent out Magnazone, and Salamence used Flamethrower again. Magnazone used Tri-Attack, and Salamence used Zen Headbutt. Molin's last Pokemon fainted. Well, I'm still not the best, that's for sure, he said, but I must admit, that was a pretty fun battle. He went to the next room, and it was green and blue, but there was no Trial Captain in there this time. Instead, there was a girl holding a golf club who asked, Why don't we see who to win favors today, you or me? She sent out Garbery, and you sent out Ninetales. 
Ninetales attacked first and used Ice Beam. Wait, Ninetales can use Ice Beam? It's the Alolan form. Oh, it's Alolan, yeah. Yeah, this is Ice yeah. Fairy. Yeah. And used Ice Beam. Skarmory used Slash. Ninetales used Ice Beam again and landed a critical hit. Skarmory, Skarmory fainted. Ace sent out an Ori... 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 <laughs> yeah, it's a little pronounce? dancing bird. Oricorio? Oricorio? Yeah, yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. Oricorio, which used Revelation Dance. It was super effective, and Ninetales barely managed to endure the attack. He switched out Ninetales and sent out Salamance. He quickly defeated Oricorio with his Hydro Pump. Next, Ace sent out or Ace sent Crobat out. Salamance used Zen Headbutt. Crobat used Supersonic, but the attack missed, and Salamence defeated Crobat using Zen Headbutt again. Ace sent out Mandibuzz, and Salamence defeated it with Draco Meteor. Ace sent out two cannon, and you sent- Dude, these battles are just freaking <laughs> one sentence, sent out, dead. Sent yeah. out, dead. Wait, did we <laughs> beat up this guy? Why is he here again? You, uh, that's a good question. This is weird. <laughs> Wait, yeah, I'm like reading back now and uh Yeah, did we didn't we beat up this man already? Unless they were like uh, his twin brother. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, one's into <laughs> the the ghosts and the other one likes flying types. That makes sense. Uh yeah, Ace sent out two cannon and you sent out Raichu. Raichu used thunder and two cannon fainted. I can't believe I lost. That was rather disappointing of me. I wish you the best of luck on the next battle, Ace said. There was another battle? You healed your Pokemon and noticed that a door had opened. He stepped into it and saw Professor Kukui standing there. You're the champion? You asked in disbelief. I'm not, Kukui answered, but the thing is, no one ever really makes it this far. The few people who did were defeated by me. This time won't be any different. Ooh. Oh, throwing shade already. Oh shit. It's my job to have Pokemon battles all day long since I study Pokemon moves for a living. Sorry, 3DS, but your journey to beat the Pokemon League ends now. <laughs> uh, I'll pop you here. Oh, Alright, I can do this. Send out your first Pokemon, the Sidueye. The professor smirked. I knew you were still keeping your your starter. Everyone does, he said. Why and wouldn't you? Yeah, that's like a... a I feel like you're an asshole for boxing your starter. <laughs> That's just my opinion, though. It sent out Incineroar. He attacked first and used Flare Blitz. The Zijuai was burnt and her attack fell. She used Brave Bird and Incineroar used Darkest Lorate. The Zijuai fainted. You sent out Salamence, who used Hydro Pump. Incineroar fainted and Kakui quickly jolted down some notes of aspiration. Good idea. But you're going to have a, to try a lot harder if you want to come close to beating me. He sent on Nine Tails and used Ice Shard. Salamence quickly dodged it and used Flamethrower. Nine Tails used Blizzard and Salamence faded. This is actually going to be a close one. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah. We're not just going to mollywop this guy. <laughs> <laughs> no clean sweep. No. You sent out Arcanine, who used Flame Charge before Takumi could switch Nine Tails out. His Pokemon fainted. As helpless as I thought you were, but you only defeated two of my Pokemon so far. He sent out Lincorock, Lycanroc, who used Stone Edge. Arcanine began to charge up power. The Professor's Lokenrock used Stealth Rock. Arcanine unleashed his energy and used Solar Beam. It fainted. <laughs> Professor Kakuid switched to Snorlax, who used high, high horsepower. The super effective move made Arcanine faint. You switched to Right, you. You use Focus Blast. Uh. But I couldn't remember how to pronounce fucking that. Uh, <laughs> Snorlax! God damn it. No, it's... I don't wow. know why that's where I. You can't I remember how to pronounce Snorlax. I, I forgot the word, alright? <laughs> Snorlax use Crunch. <laughs> and Right, you use Focus Blast again. Snorlax fainted. He sent how. Magnezone, who used Flash Cannon. Raichu used Thundershock, but it hardly did any damage. 
Raichu used Brick Rate, and it was super effective. Then she used Focus Blast, and Megazone fainted. Kakui sent out Bravery. Raichu used Sunder, and Bravery fainted. You had done the impossible. You defeated Professor Kakui. Can't believe I was defeated in person by the person I gave a Pokemon to, Kakui said. All my year of research were a waste. That reminds me of the meme, it's like, all the Academy years wasted. <laughs> you have any idea how long it takes to breed and train a team of six Pokemon with perfect nature stats and ability? <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like, uh, like every fucking, like, competitive Pokemon, like, trainer. <laughs> he cleared his throat. Whoa, that was fun. We should have a rematch sometime, champion. How can we heal your Pokemon for you and congratulate you for defeating him? You're inside the Pokemon Center, so you can tell Colrus about that you were champion now. But you looked around and realized he was gone. Something was seriously wrong. I love how, like, our character was like, why is he acting so weird? And then, like, we're sitting here like, we don't remember how, what he was acting like before, so. Hmm. So I'm like, I don't know, this seems pretty normal. Pretty normal. Yeah, this is normal, Colrus. You went out back outside and noticed that Chloris was just sitting at the edge of the mountain. How come you were out here? It's freezing, you said to him. He gave you a small, sad smile. You know, almost, I could almost see all of Aloha up from here. He said. 3DS, could I tell you something? He asked. You can tell me anything, you said. Here's me in the form of his eyes. You've never seen him cry before. Crying? Yeah, that's such a beta thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> such an ick. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm going back to my home <laughs> to Unova soon. Tell me you're joking, you said with a shaky voice. I wish I could stay, but I'm so homesick. I'm going to miss the Aloha, but I'm going to miss you the most, he said, looking into your eyes. Then I'm going with you, you said. Really? You would do that for me? But aren't you going to miss it here? He asked. It's not the same without you, you told them. I'll start packing my bags, but I need to say goodbye to a couple couple people first, he said. So I decided to go home. There's no other person I'd rather go to Unova with than you, Cora said. A few days later. Man, we just became champion and their champion's gonna fucking fuck off and leave. <laughs> <laughs> They're saying goodbye to Hal, the professor, and all the trial captains. You're finally able to re my to leave. You had you had left all your Pokemon with your mom, but decided to take Salamance. You need a way to fly around, and you didn't want to leave him behind. Well, why can't we bring all the Pokemon? That's a good question. Yeah, it's bullshit. Three <laughs> DS, are you coming? We're gonna be late. Chorus shouted as he ran to the Melee Melee Ferry Terminal. I'll be there in just a second, you said, and took one last glance at your home. You hoped your Pokemon would be alright. On the way to Unova, Chorus explained how much further away it was than any other region. He was right, too. It was around 16 hours to get there. You told him about everything that happened at the Pokemon League. The rest of the trip was pretty boring, so you just talked and talked a lot. You opened up a, a gift box Professor Kakui gave you and when you heard that you were leaving. A single egg was inside, so you put it in your lap. When you hatch, I'm going to take good care of you, he promised, to the Pokemon inside the egg. To be continued. Ooh. Unova! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, take it away, boy. I'm reading this author's note. Oh. I didn't bother. Uh, <laughs> something what he's not really okay, no, that's good. That's good. Alright, chapter 15. Uh, you went back outside and noticed that Koros was just sitting at the edge of the mountain. How come you're out here? It's freezing, you said to him. He gave a small, sad smile. Wait a minute, did we just read this? Oh my god. Oh god, they, re they rinsed and repeated. Wait a minute. Yeah, we just read this. Okay, we just skipped this. They just, like, recycled it. Okay. 
Wait, did they have through 16? Yeah, they literally copy and pasted it and then made it its own chapter. <laughs> Alright, but we didn't miss anything. Alright, chapter 16! I was like, this sounds familiar, but... <laughs> I was like, okay, we can rinse. Uh, si chapter 16, New Beginnings. You clutched the egg close to you and hopped off the boat. Everything was so different here. People were everywhere, running around and bumping into each other. Is Nova always this crowded? You just ask Castilia. Colrith. Is what? I mean, just Castilia is like that's such a, that's such a worst place to bring like a foreigner from like an island environment where everyone's kind of spaced out to like a busy ass like city in the middle of rush hour. <laughs> True. Oh, they can see the city life. Yeah. Not too bad, but uh, super crowded, yeah. Is it, is it no, always this crowded, you ask, Colrez? Nope, but we're in Castelia City. This is the biggest and busiest city. Did I say biggest? Wait, this is the see? biggest and busiest city in Inova. Maybe even in the entire world. You flew over to the professor's lab, which was located in a small place called Novema Town. But... Not getting before, but not before getting a few Castalia cones first. Is that oh. like ice cream? Yeah, it, it looks, it, when you look at the sprite, it looks like, um, vanilla, the little Pokemon. Ah, okay. You saw a large blue building with a sign that read, Professor Juniper's Pokemon Research Laboratory. This must be the place, you said. Colrez nodded. He remembered how excited you were to get your first Pokemon, and you couldn't wait to do it again. You stepped inside and saw a brunette girl with a long ponytail that was tucked into her pink and white baseball cap. Oh, oh my god, this is the fucking main character! <laughs> I thought we were the main character. No, no I mean, that, that's the main character of the game, oh my god, it's yeah. been so long! <laughs> there was also a boy there with brown hair and a blue jacket. <gasps> He was also wearing a baseball cap, but this was red. Or He's this the is... other main character. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. My name is Professor Juniper. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. I bet you're all excited to meet your new Pokemon, and they're excited to see you too. So without further ado, here are the Pokemon. The Professor said and threw three Pokeballs into the air. Before Professor Juniper could even introduce the Pokemon, the boy grabbed one off the ground. Taepig? He's a great choice. He's super friendly and he's determined not to lose. Enjoy your Pokemon, Juniper said. The boy ran out the door without even saying thanks. <laughs> is that the... What is, is that the rival? The, the two that were introduced, they're the technically the main people for um, when you play... Who's this, like, third one? person? Third? Or, who's the one that we just mentioned who chose Tipping? Uh, technically, if you pick being, a, like, a boy in the game, that's the- that's your little avatar. Oh. Yeah. Well, your actual oh. main rivals in the game are Charon and Bianca. Okay. Wait, Toya, I haven't even picked my Pokémon yet, the girl said. Oh well, you can wait. I'll pick this Pokemon since it's so cute, Professor Juniper said. Oshawott would make an amazing companion. He would just, he would be a great friend to travel with, Juniper said. The girl thanked the professor and ran off. He lifted up the last Pokemon, a sassy grass snake with legs and arms. You couldn't believe that no one had picked him yet. Snivy is an incredible Pokemon, Juniper said. He's a bit stubborn at first, but he is extremely loyal and determined. You hugged the Pokemon, and it smiled at you. Do you want to give him a nickname? She asked. What would you even call him anyway? You haven't thought about that yet. Snivy's alright. It's time to go on an adventure, you said to the small creature. You showed your new Pokemon to Colrez, who stroked one of Snivy's vines. You fed your new Pokemon a Pokebean. You might want to save those. That's, there's not very many Pokebeans out here. Like, there is in Alola. Give him these instead, Colra said, handing you two orange berries. He fed them to Snivy, who quickly ate them. A Pokemon ran out a fenced area and towards you. Uh, it jumped onto you and wanted to play with you. That's a lily pup, 
Oh, I like lily pups. Yeah, just little dogs. Yeah. Uh, I'm surprised she's being so friendly, since they're usually pretty shy. But then again, a lot of the Pokemon in Nova are really nice and just want to be your friend. Yeah, to that to the Litwick. <laughs> <laughs> you threw a Pokeball at her, and it twitched three times. The ball clicked, and you let her back out. She went running over to the fenced area and rolled around in the grass. The area had a sign by it that read, Route 1. You battled for a little bit so your new Pokemon could get stronger. Then you headed over to Accumula Town to heal your Pokemon. That's the name of the t that's the name of the town that you're talking about with the fairy yeah. thing. Yep, yep. I just I'm still listening to it right now. Actually, nice. Is it like the normal <laughs> version, or does it have the 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 cool instruments that are added into it? It's just the normal version. Ah, dude, the 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 other one's so good. <laughs> yeah, they're both good. Yeah. Um, everything is so different here. Even the Pokemon centers look different, you said to Colrez. He nodded in agreement and asked, Now that you're here, what are you going to do now? Are you going to challenge all the gyms? He saw the confused look on your face and said, Oh, you don't know what a Pokemon gym is? Don't worry. You'll find out soon enough, but in the meantime, you should train your Pokemon. Later. After a little while of training at Route 2, you had caught a Purloin. Snipey had evolved into a Servine, and you headed to Striation. Stri stri how? How pronounced? Striaton stri City. Striaton City. To go to the gym. Although you still weren't exactly sure what a gym was. Cobra suggested that you should go to the Dream Yard first, since unusual Pokemon lived there. You were playing with a Mushrona and her family of Muna when a figure emerged from the shadows. He was wearing a gray and black uniform with a mask that covered up his face. Kores? Where have you been? No one has seen you in years. You could join us again and together we could liberate the Pokemon. Who are you? You asked the strange man. Me? Oh, I'm a member of Team Plasma. Oh my god. <laughs> Team Plasma. We're looking for recruits if you want to join. What's Team Plasma? It sounds cool, <coughs> he said Sorry. to Colrez. <laughs> he quickly pulled you out of the dream yard and said, Team Plasma isn't what you think it is. I've got a lot to explain to you. He pulled out Ar Alteria's Pokeball and said, Come on, you know where we're going. His Pokemon had a painful expression on his, her face, as if she was slightly hesitant to fly to wherever he was going. He got on Alteria, and she flew away. Womp womp. Forgotten secrets. Ooh, spooky. Let me eat one of these fries before I do this. <laughs> Dude, chick fil sauce is so good. It is very good. Mm-hmm. Who the fuck messaged me? Unless that was you. Uh, no. Not the me. Who dare interrupt? Oh, it's fucking Tyson. Bro, I'm doing shit. <laughs> I'm trying to read Colred's X Reader. Are we almost there yet? You asked as Alteria flew into a mysterious location. Don't worry, it's not that far from here. Colred answered. It should still be here, or at least I think it should be. It's been three years since I've last been here. A few minutes passed. You landed in a remote area. What appeared to be a giant floating pirate ship sat in the icy blue water. Whoa, what is this place? You asked as a Team Plasma friend walked past you. Also, shouldn't we be more careful? Don't worry about it. Just ignore anyone who tries to talk to you. This is this is the classified P2 laboratory. Oh my god, this is oh my god, I love this book. <laughs> It's bringing so many fucking Unova references. P2 Laboratory? Yeah, it's off of uh, Route 16. That's where, uh, like in post game, that's where Cole res resides with the uh, Team Plasma ship. Oh, I'm loving this. <laughs> so hmm. many references. Why does P2 Laboratory some sound like, like a location like Area 51? <laughs> I mean, they- holy shit, I'm getting spammed. Uh, they made, um, 
Genesect there. That's allegedly where they did their experiments on Genesect. Genocide? Wow. That's no, Genesect! Genesect! <laughs> Why would they conduct genocide No, there? that's not what I said! I meant the, the fucking steel bug thing. The mythical. The, not... Genes Genesect. <laughs> Jesus. So they committed genocide with steel bugs? Why? Isn't that like a world war? Come on, let me show you around. <laughs> he, he pressed some buttons on a keypad and the door opened up. Koro shuddered when he saw the room again. This place brings back so many memories, but not necessarily good ones. A little while later, you were standing in a flourished room with, a, with large windows in the front. The entire place was coated in a thick layer of dust. Are we sure we should be in here? You said. It's alright. It looks like no one's been in here for years. But I'm sure you're very confused right now, so I better just explain what all this is about. A few years ago, a corporation was created by an evil man named Genesis. Genesis. No, Gen Gen Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> of course, cringe when he said the name. He believed that people hindered Pokemon's true power, so he separated Pokemon from their trainers. He started a movement where he would steal Pokemon and perform cruel experiments on them. He called it Pokemon Liberation. I joined Team Plasma and started out as a mere grunt. I worked hard and was promoted to lead scientist. I was forced to perform experiments on Pokemon and have them battle against one another to attempt to draw out their strength. But there were some Pokemon that I couldn't bring myself to experiment on. Return to his Altaria. I've been searching for her trainer for years, he explained. He always refused to fight, so against against his orders, I rescued her and took her in, took her home with me. Two years later, I was promoted to boss of Team Plasma, and I disbanded it, and thought it was over for good. But it seems like if there are still grunts left, even after all this time. I'm so sorry, you said to him. No one should ever be forced to hurt Pokemon like that. He nodded in agreement. He looked at the moon and saw its reflection in the clear water. Three swayed in the distance and the wild Pokemon were starting to go to sleep, except for the occasional Noctowl or Zubat. Everything was fine. Let's go back now, shall we? Taurus asked. Isn't it time for your first gym battle? You nodded, and you went back to the gym. Oh. This is, uh, this is getting a little crazy. <gasps> Eevee! Chapter 18, Eevee. What's your favorite evolution? Vaporeon. Oh, I, I think that's It's not like... for the reason that you think it is, alright? Wait, what are the reasons? Wait, you don't know the thing about Vaporeon? No. Wait, what, what are you talking about? It's like, it's almost like a copy pasta of like anyone brings a Vaporeon in any kind of way. They're like, did you know that in a uh, male, male human to female, like, Pokemon species, uh, Vaporeon is the most breedable Pokemon. <laughs> what? You don't know what the- oh my god, I gotta educate you. <laughs> Where does that come from? Because apparently the DNA with Vaporeon is very close to human DNA, so technically, uh, like, a, a, a man can do it with a Vaporeon and have, How? Like, How is it breeding. close? I don't know, I guess it's close enough in, in genetics. How- wait, is that, like, canon? It's- it's apparently canon, because, like, they wouldn't have the joke if it wasn't. I can- uh, ask Cameron about Vaporeon, you'll explain <laughs> So we're just related to fish, I guess. I mean, we all ascend in from the water, so. I like, uh, I like Umbreon and Glaceon. No, they're pretty good. I'd have to say Umbreon, my favorite. Yeah. The normal form or shiny? Uh, I've never had the shiny one, so I don't know what that looks like. Yeah. I guess normal. Yeah. I don't know what the shiny looks like. Uh, instead of the yellow rings, it's blue. Oh, okay. Yeah. I need to get one then. <laughs> yeah, are you- uh, Chapter uh, 18, Eevee. You're reading. As you return to Stridathon City, you notice something strange. The grass was rustling around, and a small fox-like creature was running in nervous circles. You looked at the small creature. Are you lost? You asked. Eevee. The Pokemon said. I'm sure it said it more cuter than I did, but anyways, yeah. uh, you get the scared. <laughs> 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 the, the Pokemon said, 
You gave the scared Evie a berry, which it slowly ate. You can stay with me for now, and I'll help you find your friends, he told the Pokemon. She seemed a bit doubtful at first, but she was happy to make a new friend. You tied a ribbon around her ear and carried her to the gym with, gym with you. She looked nervous, but you promised her that she wouldn't have to battle if she didn't want to. So what exactly is this place? You asked Colrez, who had been unusually quiet since he went to the Team Plasma base. Well, it's sort of like a trial, but instead of Toad and Pokemon, you have to battle the gym leader and a few other trainers. If you win, you get a badge. If you collect all eight badges, you can battle the Innova League. Wait, there's more than one Pokemon League? How many are there? You asked. Uh, there's nine. around ten. There's around nine. Well, he said there's around ten, so he's... Yeah, yeah I guess he's paraphrasing. Nine. Yeah, there's, there's nine generations right now, so there's nine... Technically, yeah. There's around 10, and almost every region has one, he explains. After you battled some trainers, it was time to battle the gym leader. Since your starter was a grass type, you would have to battle Chili, who is specialized in fire types. Wow, I never would have guessed from his name. Yeah, that's kind of underground. First... <laughs> yeah, Chili. You have to battle Chili, who's an expert in ice Pokemon. Yeah. He sent out his first Pokemon, Lilypup. You sent out Servine, since he was your strongest Pokemon. He used Tackle twice, and then used Toxic. Lillipup used Work Up three times in a row. His attack became extremely high, and he used Bite. Most of Servine's HP de uh, depleted, but he used Leaf Tornado, and Lillipup fainted. Uh, isn't Le Lillipup a fire type? Lillipup is a normal type. They no matter which one you battle, it's normal type Lillipup, and then their next one is the... The elemental monkey. Oh. Yeah, so in this case, it's uh, Panseer. And then the other ones are Panpour and Pansage. Okay. Chili sent out Panseer. Oh, speaking of. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I played this game too much. Who <laughs> <laughs> used Incinerate. The berry that Servine was holding got destroyed in the flames and he fainted. He oh. sent out Lulipup and Purloin, who didn't do that much damage. You wished that you had trained them more, because they were both only level 7. When they both fainted, you had no choice but to accept defeat. Dang. First L. I knew my Pokemon wouldn't let me down, he said, as he high-fived Pansir. Eevee had been watching you battle the whole time, and she came running over. It was clear she wanted to fight. It's alright, Eevee, you don't have to battle just because I made some mistakes. But she had a determined look in her eyes, and she didn't want you to lose. Chili's Pansier took that as a challenge and attacked. He cringed as he used furry swipes on her, and dug his sharp nails into your friend. She used Shadow Ball on him, and he tried to attack back, but Eevee used Protect, so it was useless. She finished him off with Quick Attack. Oh my god. No Shadow Ball, Quick Attack, Protect? Okay. Yeah, this thing was definitely, like, breeded and then just dumped because it wasn't shiny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for a second there, I thought I had really won. But it looks like you burned me out. Haha, <laughs> good one. Good one, Chili. Really burned you out, huh? Must have spent ages doing that joke, huh? Yeah. He handed you the trio badge, and you thanked him for battling you and walked away. So, what did you think? Koros asked as he walked over to you. It was so much fun. I wanted to battle. I want to battle the next gym, he said. He stared at the Pokeball in his hands and said, All right, but before you go, uh, I want to show you something, Koros. I want to show you something. Colrez let Sally out of the ball, and she was running around with excitement. You remembered how energetic Salamence was when he was a baby. Colrez took a piece of rare candy from his pocket and gave it to his Pokemon. She eagerly ate it, and she began to transform. Her tiny arms grew into legs, and she stood on all fours. A heavy armored shell encased most of her body, so you couldn't see her face anymore. Wait, I thought rare candies couldn't evolve Pokemon. Oh, they can. I'm mistaken. It, I mean, as long as it's your level up. I thought there was like some mechanic where like using rare candies to level up couldn't evolve it, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I mean, they had to reach that level in order to level up. But like, yeah, yeah. They, they still can. Okay. She started jumping around because she was so happy. She wasn't used to her new legs and she tripped and fell. 
Korra's helped her up and fed her berries, but she had trouble eating because her shell got in the way. He let Salamance out and let him see his newly evolved daughter for a while, and travel to the gym. Oh, I forgot they uh, let their Pokemon breed or something. Mm -hmm. On the way there, you trained your Pokemon a bit more and caught a Blitzy. Bl a Blitzel? Blitzel? Oh my god! Blitzy. <laughs> <laughs> Blitzy. I'm so offended right now. <laughs> I was like, is that an eye? That's my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> Blightsel. Blightsey. I'm gonna call it Blightsey from now on. You all then right. arrived at Macrine City. Almost all the houses and businesses were located inside of old warehouses that had been refurbished. You went over to the museum where the gym was located. A giant Dragonite skeleton sat in the middle of the main floor. You went downstairs to the library and moved the bookshelf. A hidden passageway was revealed where the gym leader was. Are you ready to battle? Lenora asked. You nodded. And what are we wa waiting for? She asked and sent out Herdier. She sent you sent out Serving, and she used Megadrain. Herdier used Bite, but Serving dodged it and used Leaf Tornado. I don't know you've been saying it wrong this whole time. It's Servine. Sir, I think I was like saying Servine, and then I just reverted back for some reason. And that, uh, yeah, it is Servine. Servine dodged it and used Leaf Tornado. Herdier fainted. Lenora sent out Watchdog. He used Retaliate. Then Watchdog used Hypnosis. She used Herdier off. She oh, she finished Herdier off with Crunch, and you sent out Purloin, and she used Hidden Power. Uh, parentheses Fighting. Then she used Assist and used Hydro Pump. Watchdog fainted. Perlin began to evolve, and she became increasingly bigger. She was no longer a kitten, but now she was a Lightbird. Lenora gave you the basic badge, and you exited the gym. <laughs> basic Imagine being badge. so basic. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you're basic. Here's a badge. <laughs> when like Evie saw badges. that... Yeah. When Edie saw that Lightbird had evolved, she seemed disappointed that she hadn't evolved yet. You played with her to make her feel better and fed her. Evie began to evolve and turned into a slide Sylveon. Yeah, Sylveon. She was still wearing the ribbon you had given her. You healed your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center and stayed there for a while. Chapter 19, I dated in Nimbasa City. Ooh, scandalous. This is short. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe only 429 people got to this point before they were like, nah. Now it's 430. Yay! <laughs> you woke up the next morning and saw Korez was sitting with you. He had spent the night at the Pokemon Center. He walked over to you and asked, Wanna go to the amusement park with me today? It's in Nimbasa City. He responded, that sounds great, but I want to battle the next year first. Korra's sighed. It was bad that you liked battling so much, but he was getting a bit tired of all these gyms. He wished he could spend more time with you. Ooh. Is it gonna be like one of those things where like, we're gonna meet you at this time, and then like, we forget about it, and he's been sitting there for like three hours? You <laughs> 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 flew to the next city with Salamance. He struggled to fly past Route 4 because of the big sandstorm, but he made it, and he landed in Castilia City. He headed over to the gym, but not before getting a few Castilia cones first. After you defeated Berg and got your insect pad, we didn't even get to fucking see the fight! It just happened? <laughs> it just happened. Wow, what the fuck? You headed over to Nimbasa City. You went to the amusement park and decided to go on the Ferris wheel first. As you paid for the admission, you had a sudden realization. Cora's, we're in a couple's only Ferris wheel, you said, pointing at the large sign. But he just smirked and walked inside. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> he stared at you with a smug expression. And then, in quotes, it was kind of hot. <laughs> in the quotes. Nice. <laughs> Real you, nice. Yeah. Why do you keep looking at me like that, you asked. What? You mean like this? He said, smiling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Calm down there, buddy. Yeah, you, you, down boy. Down. <laughs> <laughs> she sat next to him. He began to realize just how perfect he was. 
Yeah, it's just a runaway criminal. <laughs> I can't believe he- like, Professor Juniper saw him in the fucking thing, he's like, Hey, wait a minute, didn't you try to take over the world? Okay. Get his ass. <laughs> Get him. Yeah. You leaned over and put his soft lips on yours. After a 15, after about 15 minutes, he leaned in and hugged you, but the ferris wheel came to a stop. You're disappointed that the fright was so short, but it was actually lasted uh, almost half an hour. Hey, 3DS, wanna read the, wanna ride the ferris, the, the, <laughs> the ferris the, coaster together? The, yeah, the roller coaster together, he said. Imagine the ferris wheel as a roller coaster ride. I would, like, you just go into, like, the little pod that you get spun in. You, they, like, bring yeah. you up, and they just fling you. <laughs> no, you're just rolling down the tracks in a Ferris wheel. Oh, well, that'd be awesome. Uh, you walked inside the building and sat down at one of the cars with him. Soundproof glass stone closed about you. So, you won't be distracted by what's going on outside. When the roller coaster started, it was a lot faster than you expected. There are lots of hoops, twists, and sharp turns. You can feel your heart beating inside of you. Curled up into a tiny ball since you were so terrified. Why couldn't they have put seatbelts on this thing, you, you thought? The cars were only meant for one person, so you just snug press against Cora's warm body. He rubbed your back and played with your hair so it could help you calm down. You can feel his breath against your neck as he whispered, I love you. <laughs> just thought, okay. After your your hot fair and your roller coaster, <laughs> Cora showed you showed you his house, which was also in the Boston city. It was modern and sleek, with everything a normal house would have. As you looked around, you noticed something unusual. He had an office, which he had turned into a science lab. This might not seem like a big deal, but trust me, it will be. <laughs> you then sat down on the couch with him and watched your favorite movie together. Oh, nice. this is the final one! We did it! We made it, boys! We did it. Alright. Oh my god, this is it. And you get to finish reading it. Your favorite book. Oh, you can read it. That was a short chapter. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck you. Alright. Oh wait, this one's a short chapter, too. Yeah, this is like, you can see it on the screen. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Magic Man, go. No, you read it. No, you read it. No, you read it. No, you read it. Those goes. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that was pretty fair in my book, so you gotta read it. Well, how was I supposed to know? I can't see you. <laughs> I don't oh, know if you played your scene. Fuck you. Alright. Your aunt Dara had just defeated you. The, the Pokemon World Champion. It had taken you years to beat every single Pokemon League, but instead of getting angry, you just handed her a single Pokeball with a baby Bagon inside. Here you go, Cass, you said, as she opened the ball. She crowded the small creature in her arms. I know he might not seem very important to you, but I used to have one of these when I was your age. These guys become endangered, so he's very special. Other oh, people hunt them? Oh my god, oh. That's, so, that's so sad. <laughs> Genocide. You spoke the baby dragon's head and whispered, thank you. Your son was also very successful. He was trained to become a Pokemon professor. He had coerced his beautiful golden eyes in your hair color. After you lost to your own daughter, you just wanted to go home. You curled up on the couch with Coras and looked into his mythic mythical otherworldly eyes. He kissed you and whispered in your ear, I still love you and I always will. Uh... <laughs> Why did we have kids with this man? Why does every epilogue that I read of a fanfiction always end with us having kids? Why? <laughs> Why can't this I be happy? After it was basically 20 years later, kids. Fuck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna vote. Where, where is the thing? I'm gonna vote. This is a good chapter. <laughs> Alright, well. Start it. Yeah, I, I voted for it, so it went up. Nice. What do you think? Uh, it's one of the better ones. Are you, in terms of writing. Are you sad that we finished it? Uh... No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to, like, 
the majority of it with the destruction and everything. Yeah. It was like a month, a couple months ago. Yeah, I feel or like, like things are pretty fast paced. Yeah, I feel like it's been a while since we read this Colora's book. Well, that was pretty good. Yeah. At least we never had to read it ever again unless I find another one. <laughs> <laughs> At least there's uh, some closure in this one. Yeah, thank god. And, and it's not like an ongoing book. Or like a discontinued no. one. Yep. Well... Well, you know what, uh... You know what must be done now? We have to All spin right. the wheel. <laughs> Bend the Ferris wheel. I, th I thought you said- okay. Did you say spin the ferris wheel? Yes. Nice. I, I keep getting fucking flashbanged every time I put on this wheel because it's bright as shit. Dark mode. Yeah. No, dark mode fucks this thing up like crazy. Alright. Are you ready? We have some shitty Ooh. options on here like Kung Fu Panda and Tango. Oh, hey, what are you talking about? I was saying that's a good one. <laughs> Tangled. Tangled. Alright, well, I guess we're reading Cynthia. This is the second time now? Yep, second time reading Cynthia. Where there's a professor yeah. being like, Can't you just leave me alone? I'm trying to research Crack's Houndoom egg. <laughs> <laughs> Examines dead fetus. Be like, hmm, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very romantic, very charming. Yeah, and Cynthia's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna marry this man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I feel like this was very productive. It was nice. Yeah, we did it, and we didn't have any issues. Exactly. Yeah, and you totally couldn't hear people yelling outside my door. Oh, I didn't hear that. Oh. It definitely picked up on the mic. I saw it going up and down. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but that's a, that's a someone else's problem to deal with because I ain't gonna. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for joining me at the Walmart dumpster. Of course. With the little, little thing. Yep. Yeah, I'm so glad I don't have to re eat raw meat anymore. I can just cook it over this oil drum. We can eat this fanfic book we found named Colra's Rear. Nah, man. What you want to do is use the Hero Brian X-ray. <laughs> <laughs> now that gives a nice juicy taste to the meat. Hero Brian's gonna haunt you if you do that. Oh no, that's crazy! It throws him in fire. <laughs> Wait, is that for like any any like character? We if we throw it in the fire, they'll haunt you forever. Yeah, if you throw any character in the fire, it's gonna come to life. Well, if you excuse me, I'm gonna throw like a box down yeah, here. Should I was gonna say, you're gonna like put all your Zosons in there. Or something. Oh my god, yes! Put all my Sanji X readers in there. I'll have plenty. <laughs> all right. Well, anyway, check out the playlist for a bunch. We have like almost like a hundred episodes at this rate, so keep up to date oh with that god. shit. Yeah, we have a lot now. And be sure to, I guess, say hi to Minho in the comments because he doesn't have any social medias. He, his only purpose is Wattpad book reading, and then he just fucks off in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just hibernate in the woods. Yeah, you live off the radar. Until the next Walmart reading. Yeah, you live off the radar, and then you're like, sup, I'm here to read fanfiction. <laughs> I'm a sleeper slow uh, agent. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but anyway, my name is Phoenix, that was, uh, that was Minho, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye!